everybody welcome back to the channel so i just got word of this internet post about world's edge map update so what i want to do is break this all down with you guys i'm going to have a link down in the description down below so you can go through line by line yourself but i'm going to have this here available for you guys and let's discuss it now in the gameplay trailer i'll have the link down below of what we discuss we saw some of the high level changes but i really want to get into this and really see what they changed to the map their goals here with Seer is that he's all about metamorphosis, all about the change. The biggest thing is that they wanted to improve more fun, new gameplay, fresh experiences within World's Edge. We've had World's Edge in its current format for quite a while. It looks like they're trying to change things up. So it looks like they have a new POI where it used to be Refinery. Refinery has been wiped out by Molten Lava and replaced with a bigger POI called Climatizer. I can agree with this. This kind of makes sense. Refinery is definitely one of the lesser POIs, less popular. And if we see the before, we see refinery, and we see the after. Wow, that's quite a quite a bit of changes there. So they flat out did remove everything with refinery. You see epicenter in the background there, but you see all these new little pillboxes there, which could potentially have loot. I don't know if you can go inside those. Let's see here. From the designer perspective, they want to attract more people to the north side of the map. I would agree. A lot of people didn't go to the north side of the map. I specifically didn't. And it looks like fast moving gondolas provide additional fun. This is my first reaction to everything, so I'm trying to give as fast and brief of a reaction as possible. Fissure extension. So the fissure, so we look at the before. Now let's look at the after. Wow, so that definitely makes a big cross. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Usually whenever there's big cuts in between the map like this, like you see there, this can really create a separation, especially when the end zone does end like that. I can see where it could create a new dynamic, more fun, but the problem is if the end zone, let's just say, ends right here, or even in this sector over here, it definitely could cause a lot of, a lot of disruption and maybe not so lucky positioning if you're caught in the negative side of it. But that is a massive change to the map. That is dramatic. This new crack introduces meaningful decisions. I would agree with that, meaning you have to go for the better rotation. But it also has a downside to that. We'll see how that all plays out. Now we also have the gondolas that I mentioned from the trailer. It looks like they are sky cars, able to kind of give you some rotation. It looks like they have a bit of cover. Not the most cover. You can still seem like you can get a stick in there, a thermite. But this is across the map to kind of give you some... Some rotational tools there. We saw it in the trailer. Even if you're 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 trying to hide, you don't necessarily have the most cover, but it definitely does give you some mobility rather than just taking a normal zip line, which is good. You can definitely use Pathfinder though in between to provide a little bit more diversity. Wow, now this is a change right here. So lava siphon. This is a sorting factory that's been swallowed by a massive sinkhole. So wow, they actually got rid of all of sorting. And I thought that harvester disappeared. I apologize for that. Harvester looks like it's still in the background here and harvester is still apart so that is my i will take ownership of that that is my bad i apologize for reporting that in the trailer i thought that harvester based on the trailer looked like it had disappeared it has not it has not guys and that is my bad i apologize for that but it looks like from sorting it looks like sorting is the one that got the short end of the stick here sorting was a very powerful poi so let's talk about let's see why they changed it they want to break away from the free flowing layout from existing sorting factory and provide more chaoticness okay i can understand that but the problem is that it was such a popular spot especially in competitive that it has such a powerhouse and dominance maybe they're trying to get people to steer away from this poi because of the strategic place that it had because now i don't know if it necessarily has that dominance that it did before especially because so much of it is now open compared to providing a lot of cover that it did before now it looks like train yard got crossed off the map no longer here been this is this is why i thought harvester disappeared i thought this based on the map from what i was seeing on the gameplay trailer and it's okay you know we, we all make mistakes that i thought this was new harvester based on the map but it looks like what we're seeing here is the seismic activity has impacted train yard and that is now gone all the zip lines are gone we now have a new poi that looks very much Kind of like, uh, trying to think of the POI from before to the left of train yard that was there that got replaced. I can't think of it at the moment, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So this has just been simplified, and I'm not sure if this is going to attract more people to it or if that's going to deter people away. Skybox changes and climate. So we see the emergency of the skybox and worlds that showcase brighter, more neutral time of day. Interesting. So instead of getting this, uh, we're back with blue. Blue, comment down below if you're excited about the fact that the blue tent is now coming back. New season, new rotation. They worked on the player flow, provide new couple of rotations and options. The emergency update, emergence update, excuse me. And then of course, overlook. Let's see what they changed here from the before. 
And after, we're adding a new POI to the dead center end of Overlook to provide a new option for players to rotate it in and out. Oh, I see. That makes sense. This this is actually a positive change. I really like this. In competitive, if you were caught in the back end, there just was there was nowhere to go. And so what they did is they created a nice little hole here so teams can push through. It looks like you got a little box there, a nice little way to rotate. Especially if you landed here, there was nowhere for you to go. You had to push out to the teams over here. So now there's a more of a rotation to go for a fight. So interesting. We have a new West rotation. So rotational tools. This is going to be interesting. So with the before. And we see the after. Oh, wow. They put a whole section over here. This was no name before over here. And there was nothing here. But it looks like it's an easier way to get into the cave. That makes sense from the teaser that they're providing to us. There's two little rotations in here. When you saw things kind of shake. So interesting that they added it on this side of the map. So they focused on really the north side of the map to really clean it up. But it looks like they wanted individuals to really find new spots. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.